Bruce, you must have something really good too. Of course I do. It's Bruce Danielson, and I guess I'm here to entertain you too. We'll call this informational meeting to order for Tuesday, June 4th. Uh, first on the agenda, is there any city council open discussion? Councillor Staley. Um, <coughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I just wanted to put out a reminder that this weekend we're having the Festival of Cultures at the uh, Falls Park on Saturday. And um, the city council is going to be sponsoring a booth there and I want to thank the Parks Department and Jackie Nelson specifically for um, helping us to get a canopy for that area. And uh, so we have a presence there. So Jim David will be sending out um, an invite if, if any of you want to uh, sign up. I I'm committed to be there from, I'll be there from 11 to 6. But it'd be nice to have other council members come as well to greet the public and, and uh, kind of embrace this diversity that is becoming Sioux Falls. So thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I had the uh, honor of attending a fundraiser, Purple Stride, they call it, on Saturday. I said a few words and then took part in a walk, and it was an awareness deal for pancreatic cancer at the park. And um, yeah, pancreatic, obviously, there's no good cancer or whatever, but I mean, especially when you hear that term, you know it's going to be tough. And you saw some folks there that were survivors, and what a crowd there to raise funds for a very needy cause. I think there were probably a thousand people there, I'm thinking, all wearing purple and had a lot of fun of events there and I think we bought a three mile walk we took part in. But I know that they're having their fundraising drive and getting close to raising what they need, but if anybody out there watching or has any interest in learning more about that, I'd encourage them to look up uh, Purple Stride on Google it and do what you can to help with them. But anyway, very neat event and happy to take part. Anybody else? Okay, first up we have for presentations, uh, Shannon Nelson will be here talking about the Great Plains Zoo and Delbridge Museum. Welcome. Hi, good afternoon. Shauna Nelson here with Internal Audit pre presenting report 18-02, the Great Plains Zoo and Delbridge Museum. The audit was conducted by Abby Vandalinati and presented to the audit committee on April 22nd, 2019. The purpose of this audit was to determine if the management agreement between the city and Zoological Society of Sioux Falls is in compliance and whether adequate controls are in place over zoo operations and maintenance. The objectives were identified and there were five. The first was determining if the society is compliant with the management agreement. This included financial reports provided to the city on a timely basis proper insurance coverages and accreditations maintained, operating funds only being used for their stated purpose, proper maintenance of buildings and equipment. The next objective was to determine if the city has proper internal, con internal controls in place to ensure the society is compliant with the management agreement. The next objective was to determine if the city's fixed assets were which are controlled by the society and zoo truly exist and are properly reported and safeguarded. The next objective was to determine if proper internal controls are in place to protect cash receipts and disperse disbursements of the society and the zoo. And the final objective was to evaluate the operational and program uh, performance for trends. The scope and methodologies are listed on page three to four. The scope of the audit included the review of the terms and agreement, which was in effect on January 1st, 2017, and all detailed testing of transactions occurred during the 2017 calendar year. Additional audit work performed included the following, the review of the management agreement, interviews with city and society management and staff, observation of cash control procedures, review of insurance coverage requirements, the zoo's accreditation, review financial records for evidence of preventative maintenance on buildings and equipment, walk through and observations of the zoo campus, sample of the society's inventory assets, sample of expenditures to ensure proper use of funds, reviewing of internal controls in place by the city to ensure compliance with the management agreement, reviewed written policies and procedures regarding the cash handling and cash controls, review revenue data, annual past 
visitors, and performance trends at the Great Plains Zoo. The results are included um, on pages four through seven and are as follows. Regarding the Great Plains Zoo contract compliance, the audit results concluded that the zoo is in compliance with the major requirements outlined in the management agreement. Regarding city internal controls over contract compliance, the audit results determined that adequate internal controls are in place to monitor compliance and additional checklists are maintained throughout the year to ensure the zoo is meeting the contract requirements. Regarding city fixed assets, the audit determined the city fixed assets under the control of the Great Plains Zoo and Delbridge excuse me, Museum are properly safeguarded guarded and reported and are in appropriate acceptable condition and are also inventoried on an annual basis. Regarding cash um, receipt disbursements, the audit determined policies and procedures are properly followed and documented with the exception of the purchasing card policy and procedure, which is on page six. We'll review that shortly. And regarding the operation and program performance, the trend review, I'd like to note that this objective was not audited, but was only reviewed. The conclusion was revenues, annual passes, and number of visitors were trending positive. The Great Plains Zoo has been adding new exhibits and attractions in accordance with a strategic master plan that contribute to the growth, and that's on page six to seven. You can also identify attendance graphs, which are on page, page two, as well as memberships sold are on page three. Recommendations, there was only one recommendation resulted from this audit, and that was to add a purchasing card policy and procedure to provide direction and guidance to all employees who utilize a company purchasing card, which was added and effective on February 21st, 2019 to the Zoological Society of Sioux Falls Financial Procedure Manual. In conclusion, we believe the Great Plains Zoo and Delbridge Museum is in compliance with the management agreement. And with that, we conclude, and myself as well as staff from Parks and Rec or the Great Plains Zoo would be happy to answer any additional questions. Okay, thank you. Do we have any questions? Looks like you're getting off easy today. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, well, a relatively short agenda. Do we have any public comment on what we've covered so far? All right. I will make a motion to move into executive session to consult with legal counsel or reviewing communications from legal counsel about proposed or pending litigation or contractual matters pursuant to SDCL 1-25-2 sub 3. Second. Okay, can we get a roll call vote? Council members Brecky? Yes. Kylie? Yes. Neitzert? Yes. Selberg? Yes. Sale? Yes. Staley? Yes. Okay, move into executive session. We'd ask everybody to vacate, please. Thank you. Good.